explain kinetics of decomposition of nitrogen pentoxide. The compound nitrogen pentoxide is a volatile solid which decomposes in the gaseous state as well as in the form of its solution in an inert solvent like carbon tetrachloride. According to the reaction, nitrogen pentoxide decomposes to form nitrogen tetroxide and oxygen gas is liberated out. The reaction is carried out in a water bath to maintain the constant temperature. Temperature is measured with a thermometer and in a round bottom flask, nitrogen pentoxide dissolved in carbon tetrachloride is kept. As the temperature of the water bath increases, it decomposes, producing nitrogen tetroxide and oxygen gas. Nitrogen pentoxide and nitrogen tetroxide that remain in the solution while oxygen gas that travels through the tube connected and it is collected in a gas burette. So we can measure the amount of oxygen gas produced that is volume of oxygen gas produced through the gas burette. It can be observed that volume of oxygen collected at time t is dependent on the amount of nitrogen pentoxide decomposed. Therefore amount of nitrogen pentoxide decomposed that is x is proportional to volume of oxygen gas collected at any time vt that is x is proportional to vt this is equation number one at infinite time the total oxygen gas collected will depend on the amount of nitrogen pentoxide taken initially therefore amount of nitrogen pentoxide taken initially that is a is proportional to volume of oxygen gas collected at infinite time that is a is proportional to volume at infinite time this is equation number two substituting these values in first order equation which is k is equals to 2.303 divided by t log of a by a minus x we get k is equals to 2.303 divided by t log of v infinite divided by v infinite minus vt. So this is the equation which governs the decomposition of nitrogen pentoxide. So now let's try to solve a numerical based on these equations. From the following data for the decomposition of nitrogen pentoxide in carbon tetrachloride solution at 48 degrees Celsius show that the reaction is of first order and calculate the rate constant. The data is given as time in minutes is 10, 15, 20, 25 and infinite and volume of oxygen evolved is 6.3, 8.95, 11.4 and 13.5 and 34.75. For the reaction to be of the first order it must obey the first order equation that is k is equals to 2.303 divided by t log of a by a minus x or in this case k is equals to 2.303 divided by t log of volume v at infinite time divided by v infinite minus vt. In the present case v infinite is 34.75 ml. The value of k at each time can be calculated as follows. At time t is equals to 10 minute volume of oxygen evolved is 6.3. Therefore k becomes 2.303 divided by t log of 34.75 divided by 34.75 minus 6.30 which is 0 0.2303 into log of 1.221 and finally 0 0.02 minute inverse. Similarly, at time t is equals to 15 minutes, volume of oxygen evolved is 8.95. Let's substitute these values. K becomes 2.303 divided by 15 log of 34.75 divided by 34.75 minus 8.95 which gives 0 0.154 into log of 1.347 which is 0 0.019 minute inverse. At time t is equals to 20 minutes volume of oxygen evolved will be 11.40 therefore k becomes 2.303 divided by 20 log of 34.75 divided by 34.75 minus 11.4 which is 0 0.115 into log of 1.488 and it comes 0 0.019 minute inverse. Since the value of k comes out to be nearly constant, therefore the given reaction is of the first order 
and the average value of the rate constant is 0.019 minute inverse. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel.